I'm Craig Basmajian with James Robinson, and this is a fine example of, of a Silveria glass vase. Um, it, it was made in England in the Midlands near Sturbridge uh, by the Stevens and Williams glass manufactory about 1900. Stevens and Williams started their production in 1847, and then by 1860 had advanced to such a degree that they were producing glass that was quite crystalline as we call it, um, and beautifully cut, engraved and etched, and sometimes cameo glass. By 1880, they were encouraged by the artistic director, John Northwood, to engage or use color much more strongly. And by this point, um, this kind of piece would have been extremely complex and expensive to create. So the glass blower would start by Glowing, uh, blowing a clear bubble of glass on the inside, which became the inside. And then when the temperature he estimated was right, he would overlay a layer of silver foil, which then would shrink, crackle, and create small perforations as you see here. And the, the chance was that the perforations would be as small and uh, interspersed as little as possible. Then um, the blower while turning again would apply crushed and uh, powdered colored glass usually of pink, green, yellow, gold which then would stick to the glass and, uh, and uh, dry. Once that was done a final clear layer of glass was applied over this work and then the piece annealed or cooled. At the very end, they applied these trailing acid green um, fibrous canes of glass, which was so characteristic of this work, both vertically and uh, diagonally. And this piece would have been considered quite avant-garde for its time in 1900.